Hello, sports fans and baseball fans. It's me, Sportsman Z, Bob Zolke, and today I am here with another Today game using Stratomatics Baseball Max. We are going to play a game from the actual slate of games on Saturday, August 31st. So, uh, with that having been said, uh, let's find out where that is. <laughs> Okay, 2024 season right here. And we're going to try to pick a good game. I know it's going to suggest the Chicago White Sox game to me against the Mets, but we're not going to really want to do that because the White Sox are terrible. Let's look for something that would be of interest to some people. How about Atlanta and Philadelphia? That's got to be an interesting game right now. So uh, let's go to that game. Um, I look looks like I'm going to be Philadelphia, which I am fine with. Again, I have <clears throat> no vested interest in either one of these two teams winning the game, so I will take Philadelphia gladly, and we will move on. It is the designated hitter. The pitching matchup will be Max Fried of Atlanta going up against Zach Wheeler of the Philadelphia Phillies. So we, uh, the game is getting set up, and we will get ready as soon as the game is set up here. Hopefully it doesn't freeze on me. I had planned to put one up earlier, like a, a week or two ago, but it froze on me during the game. So um, that never really actually happened. So let's see if it can you know, manage to do this. Uh, it is taking a little longer than I would have expected it to have the lineups and everything. So... Let's just try to be patient here. Uh, but, uh, yeah, I mean, it's been a little while since I've done a 2024 actual seasonal game. And, yeah, now we've got the lineups. Okay, so uh, the lineup for, uh, you, as you can see, um, for our Phillies will be Carl Sh Kyle Schwarber leading off and being the DH. Trey Turner will bat second and be at shortstop. Bryce Harper is playing first base, and he'll bat third. Batting fourth is Alec Baum, who leads the National League in doubles right now, hitting 290 on the year and playing third base. Nick Castellanos will play right field. Batting sixth will be the catcher, Real Muto. Um, the Real Muto playing catcher. Um... <clears throat> Willie Wilson, no, I'm just kidding. I don't know who that is. But Wilson will be in left field. Um, Sosa will bat eighth and be at second base. And Roja will bat ninth and be the center fielder against Max Fried. And the Atlanta lineup, as you can see over on the left-hand side of your screen, will be Whit Merrifield, followed by uh, Solaire. And then Ozuna batting third. Ozuna's been carrying Atlanta lately. The only reason they even have a chance is because of him with all the injuries. Matt Olson will bat in the cleanup spot, play first base. Uh, Ramon Laureano will be the left fielder, uh, batting fifth. And then batting sixth will be M. Harris, uh, Michael Harris, uh, in center field. Orlando Arcia will be the shortstop batting 7th. Sean Murphy will bat 8th and play catcher. And Williams will be, be the third baseman batting ninth. And as I said, Max Fried pitching for them. So let's get on with the game. The umpire says, hey, let's play ball. And I'm like all for that. So uh, we are in the field. We're pitching Whitmerry Field. And let's see what happens there. And it's rolling the dice. I'm getting a little um, antsy about this because it's taking a long time to do just about everything. But he did ground out. So Jorge Soler, George Soler, however you pronounce it, he's going to have a single. So Atlanta has a man aboard with one down. And the batter is Barcel Ozuna. And he's got a pretty nice card. And you would expect that. I mean, for a guy that's been carrying that team... Possible double one to six here, um, but it is a single. Let's see if they send him an extra base. He may try for third. He's being waved to third. 
My chance of getting him is 50%. I'm going to throw for the lead runner, baby. Let's see if we can do that. Throw to third. Cutoff rule. He's out. We nailed him at third base. So Atlanta took a chance, and it turned out to not be a great idea. Which will bring up uh, Matt Olson. Mr. Matt Olson. And he is going to strike out. So we get out of the inning. Wheeler gets out of that inning by the skin of his ass. And we're going to the bottom of the first inning, where Philadelphia will be the batters against the Max Freed. So, yeah, the game is its taking a little while to do everything, which is kind of concerning. But anyway, uh, Kyle Schwarber is the batter. Definitely going to let him hit. And that's going to be a strikeout. So Schwarber goes down on strikes, which brings up Trey Turner. And he hit in his column, and he's got a possible jack right there. Let's see if he can hit it out. He can. And so the Phillies take a one nothing lead here on a Trey Turner home run off of Max Freed, who, by the way, has a good card. And Bryce Harper is the batter. Mr. Bryce going to hit it back at Freed. Let's see if Freed makes the play. He doesn't. He makes an error is what happens. And that will set the table for Alec Baum with uh, Bryce Harper aboard at first base. Alec Baum again with a nice card, and he is leading the National League in doubles. And he's going to fly out, though. So that's going to be two down. And with two down, we've got Nick Castellanos up. And he is going to hit a fly to center field where Michael, um, whatever his name is, makes the play. I forget his name. But Ramon Laureano now is up for Atlanta here in the top of the second. With Philadelphia ahead, one nothing, And um, I think Atlanta has been playing Philadelphia pretty tough lately. So um, we'll see. But there's one down. And that brings up Michael Harris. That's the guy who made that play in center field. Michael Harris. And he is going to have a possible home run off of Wheeler's card. Are you joking? You aren't, but it's a triple. I mean, that's good enough. He's 90 feet away now with only one out. So, Arcia just has to get this ball in the air is really what has to happen for them. And it doesn't look like he's going to. Let's see if that scores the run. It doesn't. Oh, yes, it does. It does. So, they tie the game up, and there is two down. And Sean Murphy, the catcher, is up. And he is going to get a pop-out right between a lot of traffic. And so Atlanta gets out of the, uh, they leave the second inning, but they do get a run that ties the game. And now JT, the real Muto, is up at the plate. And he's going to get a single. Oh, no, possible it's a ballpark single. Let's see. No, he's out. He lines it out to left field. And so that will bring up... Who? Weston Wilson. I have no idea who Weston Wilson is. I'll be perfectly honest with you. But he's going to strike out whoever he is. And that'll be uh, two down. And Edmundo Sosa, who has been around a little bit. I think he played for the Reds before at one point. Strikes out. So we don't, uh, we don't take the lead there. And we're going to the top of the third. We're moving along smartly. I think the game is caught its second win now. Luke Williams is the batter against Wheeler. That's going to be a ground out to second. So there's one down, which brings up Whit Merrifield. Whit Merrifield, of course, used to be on the Phillies this very season. But they uh, let him go. Uh, or, yeah, they let him go, and he just uh, signed with Atlanta. So... And, of course, Atlanta has so many injuries that they needed to do that, and Solaire is the batter. That'll be a 4-10. That's going to be a strikeout of Solaire. So we're going to the bottom of the third in a tie game at one apiece with Johan Rojas up at the plate. And that will be a ground to the shortstop position, and he is out. Rojas grounds out. 
which brings up Kai, the start of the order, Kyle Schwarber, Schwarbmaster. He's got a possible double, otherwise it'll be a fly ball, and it's looking more like it's going to be a fly ball, but let's see, and it is. So that's going to be two down, and uh, two down with none other than Trey Turner coming to the plate. Would like the three column here for Trey, and we get it, and it is a single. So Trey Turner gets a single. Which brings up Bryce Harper. Bryce Harper up, having a pretty good season. I've got him in one of my strat leagues, and he's going to walk. Freed walks him, gives him the free pass. So the Phillies have two guys on with two out, and uh, doubles leader Alec Baum at the plate. And he is going to strike out. So we get out of the we the Phillies leave the third inning with no runs, nothing to show for it, and we go to the top of the fourth where Barzell Ozuna, the big man for Atlanta, is up, and he's going to lead off with a single. So he is aboard with nobody out, and that brings up Matt Olson. Matt Olson not having quite the year he had last year. Last year was a great year for him. This year, not so much, and that's going to be a ground out, and uh, that will be a only one out on that. So the runner goes to second, and Ramon Laureano is the batter, and he is going to fly out to, or he's going to ground out to shortstop. So there's two down, and Michael Harris, the center fielder, is at the plate. And he is going to be out. He grounds out to the pitcher, grounds it back to Wheeler, who plays it over to Harper. And we're out of the end. The Atlanta Braves are out of that fourth inning. We go to the bottom of the fourth in a tie game at one. Nick Castellanos, the batter. And that is going to be a probable double right there. you gotta, you got to bet on that if you're a betting man. And it is a double. So let's see who's up next. Maybe I want to sacrifice with the next guy. Let's see. That'll be Real Muto. I am not going to sacrifice with Real Muto. He's probably not even very good at that. And uh, it's a good idea that I didn't because he's going to knock in Castellanos very likely. And he does with a double. So now he takes Castellanos' place at second base. And the Phillies take a 2-1 to one lead with Weston Wilson up. Now, I just might do that now. Um, do the sacrifice bunt. 72%. I'll, I'll do it. Yeah, I'm signing up. The ball is bunted. Defense opts for the sure out. And so the runner will take third. <coughs> so, we've got a man 90 feet away now with only one out. And Edmundo Sosa, let's see what they do with Edmundo Sosa up. That's going to be a ground ball second base. And uh, does that get the run in? That doesn't get the run in. So I guess they had the infield in, and Johan Roja is a batter. we got to get a base hit out of that guy. And we're not going to get that. He strikes out. So the Phillies do take a 2-1 to one lead, but we go to the top of the fifth where Atlanta will try to get that run back and maybe some more. Orlando Arcia is facing Wheeler. That'll be a 3-9. That's a fly to left field. And there is one down with Sean Murphy, the good hitting catcher, Sean Murphy. Although, I don't know. This year, that doesn't look that great. And he's going to strike out. <clears throat> Which will bring up Luke Williams. And again, I don't really know who Luke Williams is. And that's going to be a dub possible double. And it is a double. So Luke Williams getting a double with two down and Whit Merrifield the batter. And yes, so they set everything. I, I was getting a little nervous. I thought maybe the game was going to freeze up on me there. Ground ball to third, and they're out of the inning, and we go to the bottom of the fifth. And, uh, you know, I'm doing a great job of announcing this game, so I didn't really want that game to be blown away with the wind. So Kyle Schwarber is the batter, the leadoff man. And he is going to strike out. Freed strikes him out for the first out here in the bottom of the fifth with Trey Turner up. 
Mr. Trey Turner, and he is going to ground out to the pitcher. So that will be the second out, and Bryce Harper, my main man, Bryce Harper. I have a Bryce Harper shirt. That's how good it is. And he gets a ground ball to the shortstop, and the Phillies are out of the fifth. We go to the top of the sixth, leading 2-1 to one over Atlanta with Jorge Soler up at the plate. And he is going to walk. So of all the stuff that was in that column, I'll take the walk. Marzello Suna, their big man right now, their big hitter, is going to get a 6-5. That's going to ground to shortstop where Trey Tor Turner gets the force play at second. And so now um, Ozuna is at first base with Matt Olson up. And he's going to get a 2-4, which is a ground ball C. That'll move Ozuna over to second base. But there are two down, and Ramon Laureano is the batter. He's trying to knock this guy in. And uh, he's going to have a single 1-3 to three chance on that. Um, ballpark single, I believe, and it's in out. So, no, it wasn't a ballpark single. It was just a, just a single 1-3. to three. So we're going to the bottom of the sixth. We got the 2-1 to one lead, and we're up at the plate with Alec Baum batting against Max Freed. They've got Max Freed out there still, and he walks Baum smartly, probably. I don't know, but uh, Nick Castellanos is the next guy, and he is not that great a hitter. He's hitting 240-something coming into this game, and that will be a ground ball B, so now Castellanos is the guy at first base with one down, and the real Muto is the batter. And that will be a double. He's just going to rip a double down the left field line. And let's see if the runner is going to try to score. I am going to say no. Let's hold the runners. There's only one out, and I think we could probably... The Phillies have a decent lineup. And so I think that scoring that guy is something that could probably happen with, with the Weston Wilson up. Got to hope for that three column, and we're going to get it. And he might knock in both runs. Let's see what happens here. First, it's a single, so it is just a single. Let's see if the guy from second will score. They should give me the option. No, no, he just did. He did score. So um, we score. We get two runs there, and it's four to one with that Bundo Sosa up, one out, and a man at first. And now they bring in a new pitcher. It's going to be Grant Holmes. Now I'll tell you what. I don't know anything about Grant Holmes. I did not even know the guy existed until they just brought him in. So that's going to be a ground ball to the pitcher, and um, that will move the runner over to second. But there's two down, and Roja is the batter here in the sixth. And you know what? Let's just say that if the game freezes up, I'm just going to end the game right there and say that that's what happened, maybe a rain delay, something like that, because we have an official game right now. So um, we will do that if the game freezes, but so far, like I say, it hasn't. It's just been a little sluggish. That is going to be a 311. That's a ballpark single. Now, the ballpark single is 1-6, to six, so it's, it's better than 1-3. to three. And it is a single. So Michael Harris gets himself a base hit trying to make the Atlanta comeback here in the 7th against Wheeler, who I still have out there. I mean, frankly... I don't want to go to that Phillies bullpen. It's historically not very good. I don't know how it is this year, but that's going to be a single past Trey Turner. So they got the first two guys on with nobody out, and Sean Murphy is the catcher. And he is up, and he's going to get a strikeout. So there's one down, two runners on. Luke Williams is up. They're going to put in a pinch hitter. And that's going to be Adam Duvall. Now, Adam Duvall, known for not being a great hitter. He is a good outfielder, and he has power, though. And right here, he gets a single. The runner on second may try to score, and he is being waved home. And uh, let me see. I am going to stop the other runners from advancing because I had a 4-1 lead, and so we'll give him that second run. And... Um, now they have runners at first and second, one out, and Whit Merrifield up, and the score is 4-2. to two. And they're going to pinch hit for Merrifield with Jared Kellenick. And uh, you can see um, Zach Wheeler is in his yellow area. He's not really quite 
spent just yet, and that will be a fly out to right field. So Kellenick flies out, bringing up Solaire, and uh, this will be Wheeler's last inning, I think, for me, um, and that's going to be a fly ball. So we get out of the inning. We're going to the bottom of the seventh now. Uh, we're up four to two. Kyle Schwarber is the batter, and Grant Holmes is still out there. And that will be a 1-3, which is a ground ball to the second baseman. And that's one down. Which brings up Trey Turner against Mr. Holmes. And he's going to get a 1-3, which is going to be a ground ball. And that's an out. And that brings up the man, Bryce Harper. Let's see what Bryce Harper can do here against Grant Holmes. What he can do is he can fly out. And so we're going to go to the top of the eighth where Atlanta will be batting down by two runs. And I will be taking out. Now see, it, did it freeze up? Or is it just, uh, just, there we go. All right. So Atlanta is batting. I will make the substitution. So let's go down here. Substitution. And uh, let's substitute Wheeler out. And let's bring in Keckering. I don't know if this is the good idea, but that's what I'm doing. So we're going to bring in Keckering to pitch. And, uh, and off we go. So Orion Keckering is out there. And he will be pitching to Ozuna House. And so Marzell Ozuna gets a strikeout. So Keckering comes there, Kirkering, Kirkering comes in and blows him away. And then Matt Olson is the next guy. Let's see if he can do that to Matt Olson. Let's see if he can pull that trick off here. No, he's going to give up a single to Matt Olson. So Atlanta has a man aboard with one down here in the eighth. And Ramon Laureano is the batter. And that's going to be a walk. So Keck Kirkering allows the first two guys on. And Michael Harris up at the plate. And that's going to be trouble with a double. Possibly a double. And it is. And it does allow a third run to score. So let's see what's happening. Kirkering is just getting his ass handed to him right here. Um, they do hold the... I think they're holding the runners. And rightly so. There's only one out. And they're only down by a run. With runners now at second and third. Uh, let's see if we can strike out Orlando Arzia. No, we can't. We allow a single. And that could put the uh, go-ahead run. Man, Kirkering, you're terrible, man. Um, I'm, I'm still going to stop the runners. We're only down by a run, and we have a pretty good lineup. Um, although most of our good hitters, most of our real good hitters, already batted last inning. But that does give them the 5-4 to four lead. And, uh, yeah, Kirkering is in some serious trouble here. Let's see if I can get him out of the inning at least. That will be a ground ball to Turner, and it turns into a single. You cannot have that happen. And now Adam Duvall is up. I'm going to go to the pen. So we're going to go substitution. Kirkering was terrible. We're going to bring in, um, we're going to bring in Hoffman. I mean, we got to go Hoffman right now. You've got to believe. So Jeff Hoffman comes in to try to uh, put out this fire that Kirkering lit of his own uh, volition. And now Adam Duvall is up. And he's going to get a 1-4, which is going to be a possible home run. This is crazy. Atlanta has just come all the way back. They're killing us now. That's a home run by Duvall. So, you've got, man, that is a serious outburst. I don't think even the Phillies are going to come back from this. But uh, why is Adam Duvall still up? That's a, that's a problem. There is two down. Uh, maybe that wasn't Duvall that hit the home run. I don't know. So, anyway, uh, Soler is up. Now, if that's a mistake, that's a mistake the game made. I didn't make that mistake. Soler is going to hit a double. So they're, uh, or, or no. Yeah, it's it's weird. It's the guy that's up. 
Like, Ozuna is up right now, but I thought Ozuna was just, I, I don't know. Anyway, uh, if you're following at home, maybe you know what's going on. There's a single double asterisk. No, it's a pop-out. I don't know. See, I think they're one batter behind or something. It's crazy. All right, Alec Baum is up here in the bottom of the eighth um, against Grant Holmes. Let's assume that this is really um, this is really him. Single one to ten. And it is a single. I don't know. The game is freaking out here, I think. But that's the game. I mean, I, you know, I'm just playing with the game. I'm just doing what the game is telling me to do. So Castellanos is the batter. Let's see if we can get four runs. Two, three. That is going to be a possible ballpark home run. Good chance for it. And it does happen. We get two of those back, and so it is 8-6. And JT Real Muto is the batter. And they bring in a new pitcher to face him. It's going to be Joe Jimenez. I've got him on multiple of my Stratomatic teams. And that will be a ground ball to the pitcher. And that will bring up Weston Wilson. So we're within two. And there's only one out here. But that's going to be a fly out. So that's the second out. And that brings up Edmundo Sosa. And he is going to get a possible single out of this. And it is. He gets a hit. So he's aboard. Somebody can hit a home run right here. We tie the game. Although that's Roja, and I don't like my chances of Roja hitting a home run. They do bring in a new pitcher, though. It's Iglesias, and he has nothing on that card. So you don't want to hit on the pitcher's card on this. You do, however, get a home run possibility. 1-11, to 11, and it is, and he ties the game. The most unlikely guy to hit a home run. I mean, I was saying I didn't like the chances, but it happened. And so now Schwarber is up, and he is going to bat, and that is going to be a ground ball to second. So we come back unlikeliest of results and tie the game, and we go to the top of the ninth with Matt Olson up against... Jeff Hoffman, who I still have out there. But that's going to be a ballpark home run. Are you kidding? Just You're just kidding me here. No, they take the lead again. Atlanta, they're like the Terminator. They just won't go away. All right, so L Ramon Laureano is the batter. And he is going to, and Hoffman is a good pitcher. That's going to be a ground out. So Trey Turner makes the play this time. Atlanta has a 9-8 lead here in the top of the ninth, but we'll get to try to tie it in the uh, bottom of the inning. If Hoffman doesn't give up any more runs, which he's looking to give up a double here, and he does. I just is really, I thought Hoffman was better than this. All right, we're going to have to go to the pen again. Substitute. This is crazy. I, you know, this should not really be happening, but um, it is. So we're going to bring in Lazar. I know nothing about Lazar, but that's a good ERA that he's got. So let's bring him in. So successful substitution, Orlando Arcia, Arcia is the batter. And he is going to get a ground ball to third base for the second out. Man at second, two down, and Sean Murphy up. Or I guess the, the game is back on track again. Whatever happened back in the uh, like the eighth inning, top of the eighth, that's going to be a single. So they could probably try to, yeah, they're waving him home. They sure are. I am, I'm going to stop the other runners. I mean, I got a 95% chance. What are you going to do with that? So they're going to take another, they're going to take a two-run lead again. And it is now going to be 10-8 Atlanta. And Adam Duvall, it doesn't matter who I bring in. I mean, these are, according to the ERAs, they were good pitchers. Oh, my God, are you kidding me? That's going to be a single. And they aren't going to send the runner? No, uh, they do. Well, he just automatically gets it. I don't know what the rules are here. In the, so, you know. And that is going to be a strikeout and mercifully ends the inning. But now we're down by two going to the bottom of the ninth with Trey Turner up against Iglesias, who, again, has nothing on his card. So you're not going to get anything off that guy. He strikes out. There's one down. 
and that'll bring up Bryce. Bryce Harper. Bryce Harper is out, so that's two down. And that'll bring up Mr. Bomb, Alec Bomb. And he is going to get a ground ball to first base, and it is an out. And so we will go to the box score. Atlanta wins this one 10 8 in a real slam bang scuffle. So there is the. Um, the batting line. So now again you want to watch this game, keep an eye on this game today and see if this is how it all turns out, uh, you know, with a 10-8 final or at least some kind of a slug fest. Wheeler went 70, allowed eight hits and two earned runs, and then the bullpen just completely fell apart starting with Kirkering and then uh, Hoffman. Lazar was okay, but I mean for only two-thirds of an inning, who knows? So Max Freed, he went five and a third. He allowed four earned runs on six hits and walked two. But then uh, Holmes came in. He went one and two thirds and allowed two runs. But then after that, the Atlanta bullpen was, well, they still weren't really good. They allowed, every one of them allowed a run at least. So anyway, that will be it for me. Sportsman Z, Bob Zolke, signing off.